Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I got a quick review for the uh, Urban Legends sequel, Final Cut. Uh, put out the same day as the uh, first Urban Legend from Scream Factory. And um, I was pretty stoked to check this out again. It had been a long time since I seen this one. And uh, I remember really digging it. I remember this was on Netflix quite a few years ago. And that was the first time I had seen this one. But uh, this is actually from the same writer. It's from a different director. Um... And you can kind of tell it, it doesn't really have the same feel as the first urban legend it just has a really different vibe to it because uh, this one essentially it takes place in a film school and it gets really meta kind of like how scream does because um, there's a lot of when you say you know what i mean but there's a lot of <clears throat> in kind of things with the uh film school that involve with the kills and stuff and it kind of all just kind of blends together and when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just really meta. But, um, yeah, these people are making a film at a film school. And uh, people, all these actors and uh, people involved with this film are getting picked off one by one. And uh, some of them are kind of... It's like they're, they're making... It, the way it's meta, it's kind of hard to explain this. It's really kind of confusing, to be honest. But they're making a movie about a slasher killing people based on urban legends so they're kind of like making the first movie but then people on set are dying but they're not really dying in urban legend ways so it's, it's kind of weird like there's just people are getting killed in normal ways that have nothing to do with urban legends so there's that and um so it, it kind of makes it lesser of an entertaining movie to me. I still really do like the movie. Just the characters to me aren't as likable. The lead in this I don't like as much as Alicia Witt from the first one. Um, the comedy kind of thing in this, or the comedy relief is Anthony Anderson and his kind of uh, partner in it who are doing like the makeup effects uh, for the movie and the film school. Um, they have some funny moments, but a lot of it doesn't hit as far as the humor goes. Um, and then, uh, what the heck's her name, real quick? Um, uh, I'm shocked they don't have her name here as one of the first people. Um, I can't believe it, but she's Spanish. She's in a lot of stuff. I should have done my research on that before I recorded this, but <clears throat> it's this woman right here. I think she's married to... Uh, or dating uh, Ryan Gosling in real life, but I'm shocked they don't have her name up here in the uh, credits, but she probably wasn't famous at all at this time, that's why. But there's that, and it's a, it's, a, it's a slasher. That's pretty much the whole thing. People are getting killed off while they're making a movie. That's the general plot line. Now, this is the main mask the killer has, so it's a lot different than the uh, look of the killer in the first one. But he switches it up, the mask. You can kind of see it a little bit on the back there. It's like a skull mask or whatever. So he does switch it up for one kill. Um, and that kill is really reminiscent of Scream 2, when uh, someone's locked in like a sound room where no one can hear him. So they kind of stole it from Scream 2 in that way, but uh, there's some pretty decent kills. There's some really lackluster kills. There's a big showdown at the end that takes place at this like theme park that's kind of cool. Um, but overall, it's not as enjoyable as the first, but it is a worthy sequel, I guess. It's just not as good. If this like goes below 20, like 16 bucks, I'd say I would recommend picking it up, but I would never recommend paying more than 20 for it. Um, the special features, um, it has a 20 minute segment continuation of the documentary from the first one where it's just the direct new director and some of the cast talking about this one. And also the cop returns from the first one or the uh, campus security. So that's a cool throwback. And there's a cameo also at the very end from the killer of the first one. And just in case anybody here hasn't seen the first one uh, I'm not gonna give away who it is but yeah there's a cameo from that person at the very end that to me makes the whole movie worth it it's a badass cameo now as far as I remember I don't think there's any like big horror cameos in this at all like the first one and to me that was one of the charms of the first one was just an all-star cast of these horror icons and this didn't really have any so I thought that was kind of lame but this came out in 2000 um, the transfer was okay. It was decent. It didn't touch the original one's transfer, so that was kind of disappointing. But uh, yeah, the more special view, there's uh, new interviews with uh, the uh, main actress and stuff. And like I said, that little uh, 
segment of the documentary they give um, audio commentary with the director deleted scenes making a feature at gag reel and a trailer so uh yeah urban legends final cut like i said it's an all right movie um it's just not worth over 20 bucks it's kind of just a meh sequel but i did have a fun time last night watching it um and that's all i could really say about it urban legends the final cut anyways guys see y'all tomorrow peace